gosh, guys, it has been too long since I've been face-to-face -face talking with you. Out in Puerto Rico, I am in the Condado area today, and so I'm going to bring my camera along and show you top places to make a weekend amazing here. So some of the places that I'm going to show you will be like a five-minute Uber, but the others should be right on the Condado Strip. Um, I'll show you restaurants and then some recommendations for hotels. So I'm really excited to bring you along today. Be sure to keep watching if you would like some recommendations and tips for staying in Condado. So basically this place is perfect for lunch or dinner. They um, range from about probably like eight to fifteen dollars per meal um the poke bowls which i'm going to get i love um they're i think maybe 12. so they're kind of in the medium price range for a lunch but this um, outdoor seating is super cool if you're ordering to go you can go up to that little spot right there i think it's like an old railroad thing um, or if you're going to just sit, you can sit down and they will um, they will come and take your order. So one tip about Puerto Rico is if you're from the States, don't expect um, a service like the States because they are more into like the take their time island life. So if you're expecting amazing service everywhere you go, just think again and um, be prepared for a little bit of a wait, which is kind of annoying sometimes, but you just get used to it. Um, they want you to enjoy your time and your experience, but just be prepared. Okay, so this is the menu, and um, the guy just told me this is what they have before three. So after three, you cannot get any of these things, um, which are appetizer salads, sushiritas, which is like the rolled up sushi burrito thing and ceviche and same with the poke bowls or however you say that um and then the rolls are what are after three so if you come for dinner this is what you can get and if you come before dinner this is what you can get or before three and the one i got is the shrimp avocado or smoked shrimp pokey it's eleven dollars and this is the tres bay menu so there's two different menus um you can order both at this place. The raw bar opens at noon. They must open at 7 because that's when they have breakfast and then you can order any of these things. I've got the salmon burger sliders, really, really good. And if you're wondering, empanadas are fried. Here is a bonus tip for you guys right behind me, which is right across the street from Tres Bay, is this mural. So if you um, have seen my Instagram, you can see a picture of me here. And so this is a Instagram worthy wall. one hotel it's called the AC Marriott and um, I have not stayed at it but the exteriors are beautiful in the interiors um, there is a restaurant called Sabio or however you say that but I actually don't recommend eating there we've had it once and it was just like tasted like a gas station sandwich it was it was not very good so sad to say but um, their hotel looks beautiful and I will make sure to put the average price of their hotel rooms on here as well The outside of it looks really beautiful and the lobby area. I have not been to a room But it looks good from the outside then right across the street is a place called crush So like I said crush is just right across the street from the AC Marriott and it is perfect for breakfast or when you're getting back from the beach and you want something cool they have um, smoothies and acai bowls and they have frappes which is like their their form of smoothies um, so definitely recommend um, crush I think the bowls are around eight dollars but I will go in and um, film a menu really quick and then you have a better idea of how much it is I think I got the peanut butter bowl and it's so good So this strip that I'm on, I'm literally just walking down the strip and showing you all the places that I 
have heard that are amazing and have been to. So we have been to the place. They have burgers, pizza, wings. Um, I think they have like an outdoor area where you can like sit and eat and play games. They have TVs. Um, they are closed on Tuesdays all day. So don't come here on a Tuesday or don't plan for that. Um, it's just a really cool outdoor experience, good drinks. I believe we got like maybe a daiquiri or something here, but the place is a go. Another bonus tip I have for you guys is parking. So, Kendado is very limited on parking. They have street parking, but you um, have to drive around quite a while to find a spot. So I definitely recommend parking garages if you're here for just the day or a few hours. Otherwise, if you're here for vacation, I would say no car and just Uber or a taxi if you don't need to go super far from this area. So this is one that I always park at. It's the Ashford parking something. It's part of the AC Marriott. I would recommend parking here. There's another parking garage that I um, have gone to and it's down by Serafina. So depending on what area of Condado you want to be in, I could walk to the other one. It's just probably longer than I would want to walk. So I recommend this one or the other one. I'm walking west from the place and there are a few restaurants right here. One of them is Tijuana's. So let's check it out. Tijuana's are local to Puerto Rico. We have one where we live as well and their queso fundido is super good. It's way different than American queso, but that's just really our option for queso if we want it. So queso fundido, I would definitely recommend. Margaritas are really good. Tijuana's dishes tend to be around like probably closer to like the 10-15 range. Um, it's actually pretty reasonable for this area. And yeah, that's Tijuana's. Definitely go. If you guys are here on vacation and don't want to eat out every day, there is a grocery store down here in Condado. It's called Fresh Mart. It is like a natural food store, so it's a little bit more pricey, but they have food, coffee, and then a full grocery. So that is a good option if you have an Airbnb. Um, the Airbnb that we stayed at was right in that building that you can see right there. Um, and we stayed there when we first came here like in July. So I will tag that below if you really like Airbnbs because it was a good one with a beautiful view. The Airbnb we say that was up in that building and you'll enter through here, the Ashford uh, Imperial. This next place is another one of my favorites. It is called Buns. It is um, local to Puerto Rico. I love the burgers. They are so good. They have ices. Um, it's right next to the Hard Rock. So they do have a Hard Rock if you like Hard Rock, but um, I'm trying to focus more on the things that are more local and Buns is one of those places. They serve beer, pop, milkshakes. Um, their milkshakes are really good as well and burgers, chili dogs, stuff like that. It is located directly across from the Marriott, but Buns I would definitely recommend going to. Let me take you in just really quick so I can get a peek of what it looks like. <sighs> I really want one right now, but I just ate, so I'm not going to. There is a Starbucks, Starbucks and Walgreens too, right it down that way. Um, but those are American places, actually CVS as well, because of course. So I'm walking to the Marriott is where I'm going right now, and I'll show you inside, and I'm actually gonna go to the beach for a little bit, I think. I can rent chairs from the Marriott, or I can take my own chairs. Um, sometimes I can just sneak in um, and do whatever or you can get like a day pass but I really like the Marriott Beach area and their pool so I'll show you it. So this is the interior of the uh, Marriott. There's also a casino, which I'm not really supposed to go, but it's literally supposed to be right there. 
So, if you are looking for something to do, the casino is always a fun option. So, um, the casino, like I said, is back there. Um, so, Marriott actually has a lot of accommodations just because they have a big pool, they have the casino, they have food, full bar, which we've also been to, and then the beach. So, um, let's head outside. The last time I was here, um, all of this is under construction, um, this area, so this is all new, like, a month ago. So, really, really beautiful. This looks like a very chill area, and then down there is another pool that has a slide and all of that, and then the beach is literally just right there in a restaurant, and so, so peaceful. The beaches in this area, this whole strip of beach is called Condado Beach. It is all public beach. So there are people who can come by and like sell you things. I noticed that more down, more down by La Conche, but I have seen it in this area as well. They just want to sell you like ice cream or beads or whatever. But I love, love, love this beach. It's not like pristine, but for being the close it's probably the closest and easiest to get to for me so i come here um pretty often i am gonna set my stuff down in a chair i might get kicked out but you gotta try right the beach is so calming and so i'm just gonna relax here for a little bit and then i'll be able to continue the tour and i have a few more hotels to show you and i have i think one more restaurant Hopefully you guys are enjoying it right now. Um, go grab a snack while I lay on the beach and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this last one is a little bit controversial. All right, so Latin Star is the um, last recommendation that I have on this strip. So we came here, got a lobster tail with Puerto Rican rice and beans, and we also got um, pina coladas and pineapples. So we loved it. Now, we knew it was expensive because it was like a huge lobster tail. But the reviews that I've seen on this place are really bad. The quality of it seemed great. I want to say it was maybe like $70, $80 for two drinks and the large lobster tail. Like we were full. It filled both of us up. So this one's up to you guys. But I recommend it. Um, I really thought it was delicious. Um, again, service is iffy. But um, I enjoyed it. So I say go. But if you go off of reviews solely, then maybe not. I know there is one more place that's like super nice called Oceano. And um, I have not been there, but a lot of people have recommended it to me. It's like on the top list of this area. So that's somewhere that I want to go. And if I do, I will make sure to put it in the comments like or in the um, description of what I think about it. But it is pretty close to here as well. You can walk from the Marriott or um, from the other side as well. I think it may be part of a hotel, but anyways. Oceano is a to be determined. This is the second parking garage or parking lot that I would recommend. It's the Ashford Laguna lot. And this one's a little bit more expensive, but you're on the other side of Candado. So now I'm right in front of Serafina. So you can just put in Serafina and then the parking lots are right behind. Serafina is one of my favorites. It is so beautiful inside. And I mean, this little wall does it for me. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland
I just snuck into this ballroom and this is in the Serafina. Let me just flip this around because that's going to be the easiest. So this is the view. Um, I'm just on the second floor here. Uh, and I'll take you down here. This is the pool area. The restaurant is right there and the pool is just right over the ocean. Has like that um, waterfall look. Beautiful chairs. Couches over there. And man, it just looks so pretty. I think if I was to pick somewhere for like a quaint, chill place, I would pick here. I mean, it's it's so beautiful. Since I'm here, here's the ballroom. <laughs> so there you go. This is inside the relative. Gorgeous, right? I've been here a few times, so. Outside is just um, a little walkway and then there's a beach or a, a pool as well. And they do have a few chairs set up by La Conch. So there is beach places, but you just have to walk like a little bit to it. Um, they have STK opening soon. So this is definitely like the ritzy place to stay. Um, there is a Ritz Carlton in Dorado, which is west of here, like probably 20, 30 minutes. But um, all of this area, Condado, is like 10 minutes from the airport, so you can't really beat that. Okay, so this area right here is so gorgeous. It's just a lawn that's just open. There is a Ben and Jerry's over there, um, and then the La Conch is literally right there, and the beach is right here. <laughs> to keep it nice and clean not freak out and cause a scene i try to hold it together keep it together not sure who i really am just be cute and super bland okay so now i'm at um la conch i was just at the vanderbilt and so now behind me is la conch and then there is the beach so this is the area where vanderbilt has some seats and they have like a little hut with water and stuff and then they also have la conch seats so let's go into La Conch. I'm gonna try to go from this back end. Not sure if I can, but you gotta try. Okay, so down there you can see the Marriott. That's where we were before when I was just like sitting on the beach. So it's not that far of a walk. I just preferred to drive because it's a little bit easier. This is the La Conch view from the patio outside. This also looks like a really fun place to stay. If you like to work out, the workout room is right with the beach and view. So that's really awesome. And then here's the pool. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together. Keep it together, not sure who I really am, just be cute and super blue. So I have been in here once and I didn't realize I had, I just forgot it was the first time that Peyton and I came to Puerto Rico. There's another restaurant here called Deli Delicacies, Del Delicias, something like that. It's really beautiful inside, everything's very fresh, very modern, there is a casino. So. Um, there looks like some shopping centers as well, so I'm very impressed by La Conch. They have these doors that open up, so it's like your indoor-outdoor feel. It's gorgeous, guys. They have these cute little sofas. I'm just going to sit down. If you cannot tell, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this seems like the most overall, like, experience than the others, like, resorty. Um, lots of you know, just stuff like this where I'm just sitting, lots of greenery. Pictures would be endless here. I've taken you all to the hotels that I um, have heard of the most and what seemed the most popular to guests. So for the Condado area, these are the places that I would recommend. Like I said before, I will add my Airbnb link um, that I stayed at and I loved it. It was super clean. Um, private access, all that stuff, and then all the restaurants are places that I have personally been, or there were like a few that I've heard of that are amazing from um, friends. 
I love taking you guys around Puerto Rico. Um, this is basically everything you can do, fit into like a weekend. All those restaurants, you should be able to um, fit that in. But if you're visiting Puerto Rico um, or thinking about it, I would recommend it. There's amazing food, there's all kinds of tours you can go on. And if you have any certain questions, please just let me know and I would love to give you information. This is focused on the Condado area. So if you are interested in any other areas, let me know and I'd love to um, do a video about that. Please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe and do all the things because I um, really appreciate it. If you guys even want to share my videos, I would love that. I obviously want to continue serving you all and giving you information that you would actually use and like and is interesting to you. Tell me below which place you would want to stay at and which place you would want to eat at of all the options that I showed you. Tell me what's your favorite and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.